There's still a few things uh, that I wanted to tell you about um, um, the face detector demonstration um, that I wanted to demonstrate with the torch today. Um, so first of all, we'll go back to the torch 7 demos, um, the face detector, the one that you um, I list the directory and you have Rand.lua, um, the graphic interface, then the face.net, and uh, the packer and unpacker, the one that we just uh, explained. <coughs> so now I want to uh, run the Nectar again. I run Torch with the minus i. This minus i means that I'm going to have an interactive shell so that if I stop it, I can still look at the variable because I want to show you. Um, a little bit how this variable uh, work today. So I will run this command. The face detector starts and it's here. There I am. So at this point um, you could press Control C on your keyboard and, uh, and stop the demonstration. So I can go here, press Control C I can also close the window. Here I have a prompt to basically the face detector insights. <laughs> so um, let's look at the code real quickly. What would be interesting to see? I think what would be interesting to see, first of all, is, um, is the network. So I can go back to the terminal and say um, that I want to see the network. Now here you see all the insights of the network. Well, you just have to say equal network and it will show you. Uh, there's nine modules and then there's an output. So I could uh, explore the network output. I don't want to print it all, so I just want to get its size, for example. The size is uh, uh, 279 by 75. <coughs> meaning there's two categories of faces and because there are some there's a subsampling of four um, you uh, basically get 79 pixel by 75 pixel possible output location I can uh, look at the network modules in details for example I can look at the module number one it's a special normalization um, it will tell me all the parameters of the normalization. I can look at the kernel for used by the normalization. It will be printed out in here. I can also look back at the network again. And let's say that I wanted uh, maybe the, the, second, the second module, which is the first the convolution. There's a convolution sampling, convolution, and a classifier. So basically two layers of convolution. If I wanted to see layer two, maybe that's the most interesting for now. I can see it like this. So this has eight. If you look at weight, this is the, the matrix of um, uh, kernels that I use to convolve. So there's eight of them, and they're all five by five. The number of output plane is 8, so that means there's basically 8 convolutions happening. There's a bias that gets added. This is the output. Uh, there's a basically a step in the y direction. Oh, the size of the kernel is 5. Step in the direction is all uh, in the x direction, and y direction is 1. These are the most important uh, thing about this. So I can decide dot weight one, for example, and I can print the first one of these kernels. Um, <coughs> we could also let's see if this works. We can also uh, image display these kernels here. And maybe the best thing to do would be here to 
to say now image equal the weights and then give a little padding and maybe a zoom of four just to see them well and there they are here are the kernels that I just that have been learned as you can see the kernels are not really nice like a board looking kernels they're more some specific kernel that work fairly well with the com with the with the face detector. There are some that look some kind of like a Gabor. So this what this is what uh, is interesting about studying uh, the network uh, by looking at the terminal. We can also go back to the code and see if there's something else that we're interested in. Um, we could. For example, look at the output of frame, distribution, and so forth. So we can look at a variety of things. It's all available in here in the terminal. So I recommend that you can stop the demonstration or, or place, uh, place some points and, and show what happens. We wanted to see, for example, we could uh, one interesting things to see would be maybe to see the output of the network. So network output. We see here the network output. The two, uh, the two basically um, pyramids, complete pyramids as you can see. There's a detection in multiple pyramids and multiple scale it looks like it's about the same scale uh, we could go back to the code and uh, instead of looking at the, the raw output which is multi-scale we could uh, look at the impact distribution so distribution let's see the one that we just saw is multi-scale basically it's the output of the network Distri distribution doesn't print out we're gonna have to see why I guess distribution just comes out as a number in here let's see if uh, pyramid coordinate multi-scale multi-scale is the one that we've just seen scale and output are basically the same thing distribution doesn't seem to work at the moment probably because it's overwritten or it's overwritten by another uh, variable we could look at detections detection is uh, the clean out results and various so we could look at detection what exactly it is is a table um, the size is zero, I guess. So detection of one. Okay. There's um, x, y, and the coordinates of detection number one, and then we have detection number two. So there's basically two two detection that overlap that were pre pretty much similar, probably at different slightly different scales. Um, and this is uh, what I wanted to tell you about the face detector and all the things that you can do with Torch. And um, 